Welcome, good morning, welcome to PolySet. What we're going to be talking about today is the uh, heat welding process for our uh, ply seal expansion joint system. Basically, what you would need to use is our heating iron, which is right here. All right, that'll come to you in a white box that you'll see it here. You want to plug that in first of all, and then you have a temperature gauge that you're going to turn up to all the way to the max. All right. Now let that heat up for about 15, 20 minutes, a half an hour, whatever it takes. Then what you will do is you will check the temperature of your heating of your heating iron. Right. Now, once you've done that, you have it set up, you can take your piece and it needs to be cut. You can cut it in the field by simply using a miter box all right, and a back saw. Hacksaw and any type of saw will work, but we find them the back saw to work the best. And you get a nice clean cut. Right. Once that's been completed, you'll take your two pieces that you have, check the sizes on them, let them match up. Then you'll apply it to the heating iron. On this case scenario, you're going to be in there for about 8 to 10 seconds holding it both onto the heating iron. Once that's complete, then you will take them off. Place them both together, pushing them together, holding them tightly uh, for about another 20, 20 seconds to hold them tightly. That way it allows the material to actually fuse itself back together. All right. Once that's done, you will take a knife that you heat it up on the heating iron and basically work the edge of the material around, sealing it off. Make sure you've got a good, complete seal all the way around. And then once that's complete, you're going to want to let this material sit and cool for about 15 to 20 minutes before you install it, if you can. Okay? That'll give you a nice well. Now, if you have larger size material, all right, something that's got three or four inch material, it'll take you longer. Same process, just longer on the heating end. This from here, you're going to hold on for probably a good oh, 15 to 20 seconds, maybe 22, depending on the temperatures outside. All right? And same process again, applying them back together. Right. If you have a scenario where you held it on the heating iron too long and the material will not fuse together, all you need to do is recut, like I showed you at the beginning, with the hacksaw or the back saw, making a new clean cut and retry the process. And the best way to do this this first time out is to basically cut yourself some samples and practice. Okay. There you are. That's your typical heat well. Now you can make it in many different configurations, 45s, 30s, 22s and a half, whatever angles you need to cut. On a 45. backs off. Not cutting all the way through. You'll cut down to the first groove mark that's on the material itself. Okay. That just pops out. Apply both edges again around the heating iron. Holding it on there. As you can see, he's got both pieces put on there at the same time. Holding it for the same amount of time. Take that off, roll that over, press it together, holding it as a scenario you would if it was a butt well. Now you're making it a 90. You're going to work the edges around to seal it off with this hot knife. The trick to this is to make sure your heating iron is hot enough. Now you've got a 90 degree angle with a complete seal, not cut all the way through, one piece 
490 for a curved detail or wherever else up the wall, put a column you're going. That's basically the heat welding process. Thank you.